Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning all of you. Today's math class we are going to discuss unit 11 money part 2. On part 1 you have learned about Indian currencies such as notes and coins. So in part 2 we are going to learn add, subtract, multiply and divide of monies. First, adding and subtracting money. Children, do you all like to go to a restaurant? Yes, here Arif went to a restaurant. He had a burger and a juice. How much did he pay? Children, when you are going to a restaurant, how will you pay? Yes, you should add the prices of foods which you have eaten. Then here also we can add the prices of these two items. Then 13.50 paise, 50 paise we can write after point. Then 18, this is rupee, after point we will write paise. Here 0, 0, then add. 0 plus 0, 0. 5 plus 0, 5. After that, point. You should always keep the points in a straight line. 3 plus 8, 11. Then 1 will be carry over. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. So, he paid rupees 31 and 50 paise. Children, if you don't have changes, what will you do? You will give big amount of money. Then will the shopkeeper take that full amount of money? No. What he will do? He will give back changes. Here also, our Arif did not have changes. So, he gave 50 rupee. How much money did he get back? For that, we have to subtract. 50 rupees minus 31 rupee 50 paise. Why we have taken this 31 rupee? Because this 31 rupee Arif had to pay. So, shopkeeper will give back balance amount only. So, we can subtract like this way. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 5, not possible because 0 is smaller than 5. So, we should cut 0 and borrow from the next number. First we have to cut the 0 and go to the next number. Next number also 0. So we are moving to the next number 5. 5 cut. Here will be 4. Then we can borrow from there 1 and this 0 will be 10. Now here is 10. We can cut this 10 again. Here will be 9. Then the last this 0 becomes now 10. Now we can subtract 10 minus 5, 5. 9 minus 1, 8. 4 minus 3, 1. Now the answer is 18 rupees 50 paise. Arif got back 18 rupees 50 paise. Now we can solve some problems. Add first one. Rupees 25 plus rupees 47 and 50 paise. We should arrange this properly. First, rupees 25. There is no paise, so we should add here after point two zeros. Then 47.50 like this. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 5, 5. Next point, then 5 plus 7, 12. 2 here, 1 carrier. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 4, 7. The answer is rupees 72 and 50 paise. Next question. Rupees 53.25 plus rupees 62 and 75 paise. This also we can arrange like this. 5 plus 5, 10. Here 0, then 1 carrier. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 7, again 10. Here 0, then 1 again carry over. 
Next, we have to put here point. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus, 5 plus 6, 11. So, the answer is rupees 116. Next, subtract. The first question, rupees 32 minus rupees 11 and 50 paise. We should arrange properly. Then we can start. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 5, not possible because 0 is smaller than 5. So what should we do? We should cut this 0. Then go to the next number that is 2. We can cut this 2 also. Then 2 becomes 1 there. And we can borrow from the 1 and this 0 becomes 10. Now we can subtract 10 minus 5. 10 minus 5, 5. Then point. Then 1 minus 1, 0. 3 minus 1, 2. So the answer is rupees 20 and 50 paise. Next question. Rupees 110 and 50 paise minus rupees 93 and 75 paise. We can arrange this like this. Then 0 minus 5. It is not possible because 0 is smaller than 5. So, we should cut this 0 and go to the next digit. Here, 5. Cut 5, then 5 becomes 4. Then this 0 becomes 10. Then 10 minus 5, 5. 4 minus 7, again not possible because 4 is smaller than 7. So, again cut this 4 and go to the next digit. Here, 0 is the next digit. Here, here also 0. So, we can cut that 0. Again, we should move to the next digit that is 1. Cut this 1. This 1 becomes 0. Then, this 0 becomes 10 now. Then, this 10 again cut and borrow from there. Then, this 10 becomes 9. And, this 4 now we can write here 14. Now, 14 minus 7, 7. Next point, then 9 minus 3, 6. Here now, 0, 0 minus 9, not possible. So, cut this 0 and goes to the next digit. Here 1, 1 should cut and 1 becomes 0. Now, this 0 becomes 10. Then 10 minus 9, 1. So, the answer is rupees 16 and 75 paise. Multiplying and dividing money. Children, are you ready to go to an amusement park? Here, Anit and two of his friends went to an amusement park. They wanted to ride roller coaster. 18 rupees per ride. Arnit purchased three tickets for the roller coaster. How much did he spend? Here, three tickets of 18 rupees per ride. That means, this 18 rupees we have to take three times. 18 rupees three times means we should multiply 18 rupees three times. Multiply. Three eights are 24. Four here and 2 carry over. Again, 3 ones are 3, 3 plus 2, 5. So, 54 rupees he spent for 3 tickets. After these rides, they have bought a birthday gift for Suma, costing 69 rupees. How much was each person's share? Here it is given equal sharing. This 69 rupees they shared equally. How many members are there? Arnith and two of his friends total three kids, three members. So we have to divide 69 divided by 3. We can use long division method. 
you have already learned long division method tricks dad mom's sister and brother that steps did you remember okay we can start first we can take this first digit 6 then how many threes are there in 6 3 twos are 3 two times so this two we can write above 6 Three twos are six. Then six minus six zero. The next step is bring down brother step. Bring down nine comes down and three how many times? Three threes are nine. Then subtract. We will get zero as the remainder. What is the quotient here? Twenty three. That means each person shared twenty three rupees. here we have to find out multiply or divide you can see in this first question there are eight pencils cost of these eight pencils are rupees 40 we have to find out how much for one pencil here total amount is given for eight pencils 40 rupee we have to find out here only one cost of one so we should divide if the total is given and we have to find out only one cost means we have to divide so rupees 40 divided by 8 there are 8 pencils so divided by 8 the answer is 5 8 for is 40 so cost of one pencil is rupees 5 in the second question you can see here one packet crayon cost of one packet crayon is rupees 28 here it is given cost of one cost of one is given we have to find out how much for four boxes that means we have to find out cost of many here cost of one given we have to find out cost of many for that we have to take this 28 four times that means multiplication you can see here four eights are 32 two here and three carry over then again four twos are 8 8 plus 3 11 so the answer is rupees 112 for four boxes now it's the time for problem solving multiply rupees 98 into 3 98 into 3 we can arrange like this way 3 eights are 24 4 here 2 carry over then 3 nines are 27 27 plus 2 29 now the answer is 294 next question rupees 75 into 10 children did you remember multiplication of 10 yes there is one trick isn't it in this 10 there is only one zero so we can take this zero and add the end of this number that means 75 and after that add one zero so the answer is rupees 750 next divide rupees 72 divided by 8 here 72 is dividend and 8 is divisor 72 inside the bracket and 8 is outside the bracket now we can check that eighth table how many eights are there in 72 8 nines are 72 then subtract 2 minus 2 0 Seven minus seven zero. So the answer is rupees nine. Next, rupees one hundred and sixty-one divided by seven. Inside the bracket, one hundred and sixty-one, and seven in outside the bracket. We can start from the first digit. Here one. One is smaller than seven, so we cannot divide. We are going to the next digit also. We can take this sixteen together. 
How many sevens are there in sixteen? In seven table, seven twos are seven twos are fourteen. Then subtract six minus four two. One minus one zero. Then bring down one comes down. Now here is twenty one. Then how many sevens are there in twenty one? Three times three sevens are twenty one. Again subtract. One minus one zero. Two minus two zero. So the answer is rupees twenty three. Now children, all of you take your notebook and try this all. Then page number one hundred and ninety-two, question number seven and eight to be done in the textbook. Thank you very much and take care, all of you.